Hi, so I thought I would go over the process that I took in acquiring the scan data of this flywheel for our reverse engineering and design X project. I used the free scan combo to scan the flywheel. The free scan combo is a metrology grade handheld 3D scanner by Shining 3D. It's an amazing device. It offers two different light sources, infrared for cell and blue laser. When using blue laser, you have three different scanning modes. You have 26 multi-line global scanning for taking in a lot of detail all at once. You have seven parallel lines for fine detail scanning and you have one singular line for acquiring deep hole data. So the way I went about it was I scanned the exterior first. I did 26 multi-line scanning for, for most of it and then I did switch over to single line scanning to dig deep down into here created a new project group, and then I scanned the interior, and I switched over to single line scanning to acquire the data in here. I then created another project group, and I turned it on its side here just to see if I could pick up any details that I may have missed after creating those project groups. I went over into alignment, and normally I can do automatic alignment. I can get away with that without any problems. Um, this time around, however, for whatever reason, I wasn't able to do automatic alignment, but luckily, there were enough uh, tracking markers that I had scanned both in acquiring the data for my first project group and in acquiring the data for my second project group that corresponded and that lined up. So um, basically, I used this whole area as a reference. And so um, in the project group window for the fixed data, I had it like this. Oh, I'm sorry, like this. And I was able to pinpoint these tracking markers. And then for the floated window, luckily I had these tracking markers too. And so I was just able to pinpoint those that corresponded with the tracking markers on the opposite side. And then everything lined up. And the same thing was true when I added in the third project group. After alignment, I went ahead and, and I meshed the model. There were some holes because the object was to perform reverse engineering. Uh, I wanted to make sure that the data that I collected was as accurate as possible. Um, so I went ahead and I did manual hole filling. That way I could just go through and fill in the holes one by one and make sure that the geometry that was produced was as accurate as possible. So I was then able to export the object as an STL. Uh, and from there, we took it into DesignX, formed reverse engineering, as you can see in our reverse engineering video. And because the data that we acquired was as accurate as it was, the process went very smoothly and we had a parametric uh, CAD model that we were then able to export. Should you be interested, we also offer reverse engineering services and would be more than happy to convert your scan data into a parametric CAD model. Please feel free to reach out to us at info at umax.com with any queries that you might have. We're always ready to answer your questions.